All right, in this tutorial, what we're going to want to talk about is the files area in Moodle. Now, as you saw in the previous tutorial for linking to a single file or single page, what you're doing is you're going in and you're adding the link, and then at the same time, you're uploading the file. That works really well if you want to just upload one file uh, periodically. But occasionally, you're going to want to go into the files area. You're going to want to create folders. You're going to want to upload maybe a zip file so that you could upload multiple multiple files at the same time. You're going to want to rename files directly uh, that have been uploaded previously. So if you're going to need to do anything serious or you're going to really need to manage the files that are in your course, you're going to need to familiarize yourself with that area. So to get started, we're going to go to the administration block and we're going to click on the files, files link. And after you click on that link, what it's going to do is bring you to this page. And the page that you see here is for a course that has had files uploaded to it previously. So as you can see, there's lots of different folders already created. If you see something called backup data, that would contain the zip file that you uh, uploaded and restored from if you were bringing content over from a previous semester. What you'll see here is uh, there's the size. It'll give you the size of the uh, individual files or the size for the folder. It'll also tell you the last time it was modified. Now, if you need to rename a file that's been uploaded, you can just click the Rename button. And in doing so, you can just give it a new name. I'm going to make this, this has a lot of uppercase, lowercase letters. I'm just going to call it Moodle Day PPT. And if you click Rename, what it will do is rename that individual file. Now, a lot of times what I recommend that you do is use folders to keep yourself organized. So if you need to make a folder, what you do is you click the Make a Folder link. In here, what I can say are um, week 16 examples. Now, you can use uppercase letters and spaces. I prefer to use all lowercases and underscores. So I'm going to give it a name, week 16 examples. I'm going to hit Create. And now what I can do is click on that. And I'm in that folder and I can upload files. Now if you click on parent folder, what it will do is take you back to the folder, the previous folder. What I'm going to want to do is click upload a file. Now you have a couple choices for uploading files. You can upload files one at a time, where you just browse for them on your computer and click upload this file. Or what you can do is upload a zip file and then just unzip that file. So if you upload a zip file, you can take you know, 10, 15, 20 files you can, uh, you can zip up folders with files, upload them, and it will maintain the directory structure. So what I'm going to do is show you first how to upload a single file. So I'm going to browse. I'm going to locate the, um, the, the trans weight PowerPoint. I'm going to hit open. Now I'm going to hit upload the file. And you'll see that it will have uploaded the file to the Week 16 Examples folder. Now, if you need to upload a zip file, what you do is you just go to Upload a File. You browse. You locate the zip file. So this should be something that you've already created. You should create the zip file ahead of time. You hit Open. You upload this file. And what you'll notice is there's the Unzip option because it automatically recognized the zip extension and it can give you the ability to unzip it right from here. It tells you which files were included in that zip file and it puts them in the course. So just like that you can upload multiple files. Now the only other thing you'll probably need to do is know how to delete a file. So if you want to delete a file what you do is you put uh, check in this box and you can do, click delete completely. And 
you can make the file go away. Now the only other things that you may need to know is how to move a file. And if I click this trans weight, say I needed to move it, I would just click move to another folder from this drop down menu. And now it's asking me up here, one file selected for moving. Now go into the destination folder and press move files here. So if I need to move it up, I'd move it to the parent folder. Now say I wanted to put it in week one, I click that. And I just click that move files to here button. And it will move the trans weight um, PowerPoint there. And the only other thing that you should know is that you can also create a zip archive of files so that if you're in your files area and you want to download stuff, you could select multiple files, go to create a zip archive, you want to give it a name, so I'm going to call it new files. And when I click create zip archive, it will automatically take those two files that I selected put them into that new, zip, new file zip archive and I can download that zip file to my computer and uh, keep it there or and unzip it and get the files that I need. So this is the basic way that you can manage the files area. If you're going to be uploading a lot of files at once to your course, I recommend that you zip them up, you upload them there. Try and remember to use folders to keep everything organized because it's going to make everything a lot easier.